What is going on, beautiful people? It's your boy Blue, and welcome to Sim Rail. Today, I am going to show you how to start up, drive, and recover from an emergency stop in the ED250 Pendolino high speed train. Sadly, at the time of this recording, there is no in game tutorial for this train, and I truly struggle to find any documentation in English. So, here we are. All right, let's hop into the driver's seat of the Pendolino. You can do that actually very quickly by clicking on the one key on your keyboard. Uh, that'll put you right into the driver's seat, like teleport you there. Or you can click on the door here and open the door manually. That's my personal preferred way to do it. And then enter through the door. And then again, you'll turn around and don't click on the door, but click on the opening of the door and you can click close the door. And the same thing happens with the passenger area. You can click on that door and enter the passenger section. Once you get through, you can turn around or go through the rest of the cabin. But click on the door again and enter the passenger or exit the passenger se section. And we're gonna go up to the driver's cab now. I'm gonna click on that door and enter the cabin. Or the driver's cab, I should say. All right, so here is, ladies and gentlemen, the Pentolino cockpit. It looks pretty nice, but it's not alive, it's dead. It's all the code and dark, all the systems are down. So what we need to do is turn around to our left here to this panel right here. I have the, the HUD hidden, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn, click on the G key. That is to hide and unhide the, uh, the HUD. On the top left of this little control panel, you can, here's our battery, you can click on that and drag it to the right. That's gonna be enabled. And then all we need to do is turn around and we'll see that our lighting has come to life our screens are on everything's looking good so we go click on the uh driver's chair there we'll sit down and even though the battery is on uh we can't start moving it because the we need to first activate the cabin so down here below the middle screen there's like a circle button and that is going to be your cabin activation key what we're going to do is we're going to click on that and drag it to the right to activate the cabin and or a cab i should say and then immediately afterwards, click, click on the SHP button, or you can press the space bar. Now, it's gonna be a very loud noise, so cover your ears while I do it. There it is, SHP button right there, easy enough. And now we're gonna go to just the right from that. There's pantograph front, pantograph back. We're gonna be clicking on the pantograph back. That's going to raise the pantograph in the back and connect it to the overhead wires. Right after you do that and go to the, continue to the right here over at the control circuit switch, click that switch and drag it up. That's going to activate that. And then we'll just click on the black button here and click close main switch. You can hold it for a few seconds. I don't think you need to let it go and then just take a listen. You should hear the fan spinning up and the train powering on. There we go. It is fans are spinning and that sounds good to me. Let's go over here to the right and I want to put our direction controller into forward. This is where you will decide if you want to back up, stay in neutral, go forward. It's pretty much that simple. So forward there and then this big white rotary knob thingy majigger is a service brake and we need to release these brakes. I'm going to click on this and drag it to the running position. Make sure it's in running and let go. You'll see that the red gauge here is going to go up to five bar. And in this other gauge on the right with the green and uh, blue, uh, yeah, that's going to be going down to zero or it should. If it doesn't go all the way to zero, you can also put it into fill. So we'll see what ours does here. All right, that is down, brakes look good. Uh, what we're gonna do now is actually put our direction controller back into neutral just for a second. This is actually optional. You can leave it in forward if you choose. We're gonna really quickly turn all of our lights on. So back here on the control panel here again, uh, this white switch here that's right next to where the battery was is our corridor lighting. So the little area we walked into to get into the train, that's the corridor. You can click on that to turn that on. And then you have the passenger compartment lighting. So that's all the passenger cabins. You can turn that on, make sure you enable that, click and drag it to the right. Down to the bottom left, you have your light modes for the front and the rear. The left is the front, the right is the rear. They're already automatically set to automatic headlights. 
and automatic in signals. That's how you want it to be. Uh, above that, if you choose to do safety systems, those are right here on this whole row. You have your, uh, your CIFA, your uh, LZB, PZB, all that stuff like that. We're not gonna use any of that today, but that is an option if you were to choose to use it. So that's good to go now. Let's go back and jump into our driver's seat and we're just about ready to go. Just one more thing that we need to do and that is set up the radio. So on the left side, you can see this is the radio. It's actually already on. If you click on the R, that will turn it off. When you turn it back on, you'll hear a beep. Just like that. That's to signify that it's on. And to do a radio check, what you need to do before leaving is click on ZEW1 or ZEW3. So basically radio button 1 or 3, either one doesn't matter. Clicking on 1 now. Warszawa Wschodnia to 1401. Radio check. This is Warszawa Wschodnia. I read you loud and clear. Warszawa Wschodnia, 1401 is ready. Thank you. Wait for signal. All right, so we're gonna wait for the signal. There it is, he just switched it on the top right. You can see this little orange light. That's our signal uh, designator. Basically before it was red, now it's orange. Orange means we can continue and pass the signal, uh, obviously at caution, because we probably got to stop shortly after. So what we need to do now is go back to the right side and we'll put our reverser, or directional controller, sorry, into forward. Now, cruise control let's talk about that just for a second so on the right here right next to your direction controller this is your basically your power lever this is the lever that says how much power do you want to put in you know put forward on the left though you have your cruise control this handle right here if you drag it all the way to the bottom that disables it and if you move it forward that increases the speed basically the way the cruise control works independently you know is you just tell the train what speed you want to go and you give it power and it'll go until you get to that speed and it'll manage that speed whether that speed is faster or slower than your current speed so i'm gonna go ahead and click it here and drag it forward you can see right here in the top left of this screen pay attention right here is where we're going to actually see what speed our cruise control is set to so right now the speed limit is shown on the top right 40 kilometers and on the bottom right 40 kilometers. So we don't want to go any faster than that. So let's set our cruise control to 40 kilometers an hour. So that's set. So now, no matter how much power we put in, we can put this to 100%. It will not exceed 40 kilometers per hour. So let's continue with our uh, startup here. So now that we got that set up, we can go down here to the right. And here, this red switch right here is our spring brake. And you'll see this little icon kind of looks like a guy holding a popsicle. And then over here, you'll see that same icon as well that's kind of the signify that your spring break is on so we want to turn that off we won't be we won't be able to go anywhere we go down here click on that drag it forward and disable it you'll now look up and see that light is now elu this de-illuminated is that a word it probably is uh and so now we're ready to go our brakes are basically 100 percent released you can see that on the hud you can see we're actually rolling from our own weight now just because we just happen to be going downhill and now all we need to do is take our drive handle and move it full forward. And when we do that, I'm also gonna show you guys a how to recover from an emergency stop. So here we go. So 100% or close to it. And you can see we're speeding up. Now there's our alerter. It's gonna start making a noise. All right, so I hit the button now to shut it up. So what you just heard was the vigilance system. If you ignore that, if you don't pay attention to that, uh, it will bring you to a automatic emergency stop. You can see our brake hose is actually going down. So what happened was, was when the, we didn't actually, you know, react to the vigilance system, it put on our emergency brake. So basically put full 100% brake. So no matter how fast you're going, it's going to bring you to a stop. And once you hit the vigilance switch button, it now will release that uh, brakes. So you saw our brake hose going back down, so you can now see our brakes are now where they were when we left. So now our brakes are actually released again, uh, in a way. So all we need to do now to continue and recover from this stop, if actually we already kind of are, is bring our handle back to zero, like that. We're actually still rolling down the hill, uh, but bring our handle back to zero. Bring it back up to like this little middle section. Just give it a couple seconds. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and then just give it some power, and there you go. It's just that easy. I'm very thankful. How easy it is so that is how you recover from an emergency stop in the pendolino so now our cruise control is actually still activated as you can see here and we can actually put our drive handle back up to 100 percent or whatever we like this time i'm going to click on the vigilance button and it will not stop us so be very careful uh there is a setting 
uh, to turn that system completely off if you don't care for it uh, in the settings. So we're coming up to our first station and obviously we probably don't want the cruise control anymore, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and to the left, disable the cruise control and I am going to start getting ready to start applying brakes. We're already speeding coming in here. So again, we're gonna go into, let's do minimum, actually do maximum, going a little bit fast. Maximum electro braking, or you can just go to full service here. Just be careful not to put it into emergency because that will stop, <laughs> that'll stop us. So we're a little short, but that's basically how you do it. Got it moving again. And now you can see on the top of our screen, it says you can stop now. So this is when you wanna go ahead and start applying your brakes and bring the train to a complete stop. Hear the brakes screeching. Now they're at a complete stop. All you need to do is go here and click on the open left side doors or right side doors, whichever door you know side the platform is. is. Uh, you could also click on the I or P key. I is for left doors, P is for the right side doors, and O is to close the doors, which is the middle switch. I'm gonna click on the left key there, and boom, we have now opened the doors and passengers can now start boarding our train and then we'll continue through our uh timetable as we need but uh hopefully this video helped you out i know i really struggled um learning to drive this train specifically the you know how to get it started recovering from emergency stops there's like little to no documentation online in english everything is like in published in other languages so it's been very challenging as an English speaker uh, to learn to play SimRail, but it's a lot of fun and I love the multiplayer aspect of it. So hopefully I was able to help you guys out uh, learn something. Well, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope this video really helped you uh, get the grips how to drive the Pendolino. Uh, but until next time, remember you have three choices. Give up, give in, and give it all. You got peace, love, and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time, next video. I'm out.